No, but uh, this is it's really scary nowadays to put someone in loser's bracket because I feel like once like obviously a top, every top player wants to win, but yeah. once they realize like wow I'm in losers now yeah. I gotta like really yeah really, now I really <laughs> I gotta, now I gotta be, really disrespect yeah, some people yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> I gotta hurt someone in my war pack <laughs> someone's gotta go I gotta lose some friends yeah. today <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Definitely a rivalry in the making here. We're going to go ahead and Echo Fox and Kaleo go on against CLG's finest, Void. So here's Martha versus Sheik. Uh, I wonder how, uh, the amount of times that uh, uh, they've played now, and the amount of times that I guess Morgan has played Mystery and uh, Pug West, how he feels about this matchup. Uh, I think someone asked, I don't remember who it was, someone asked me earlier who uh, some of the characters on the come up were. And I said, obviously, Mark. Like, every, <laughs> everybody has a Mark now. Yeah, yeah. It's really funny because you weren't really, that wasn't really a thing that was happening in uh, the early like days of this game. I, I think everybody kind of agreed Mark was a, a good character. You know, he wasn't a bad character for right. sure. Uh, but I think now people are starting to say, hey, this character is just straight up amazing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And don't get me wrong, I, I think he honestly is. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very, very incredible character. I mean, oh, oh, he's. That okay, custom, yeah. that custom shit yep, fastball yes, combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love those super jabs, man. You can't really SCI all too far away in those kind of scenarios, so you can rinse and repeat, especially if you're doing the, you only have to do the C-stick jab in order to get that on point two. It's a really great player there from MK Leo. This match is starting very, very even. Uh, but it honestly doesn't even matter because the amount of, uh, wow, no punish. No punish at all from wow. Void and jab into four tilt. Man, that's a rough one. Okay, easy stock. This option here. Yeah, okay. we're gonna, I hope he doesn't struggle too long uh, you know, to close out the stock. Because this is a character with raves that can kill you at 50%, 50 or yeah. 60% on the oh, edge. Man. If you get hit with a forward smash at the right time, you can actually die at early as 20% given the raves that you have. Yeah, like, it, forward smash is that strong when you hit land a tipper. I love so. that. Uh, MK Leo actually doing um, the max damage combo from from uh, Dancing Blade, that, yeah. that downwards ender is the most damage. But Fast Fallers at low percent can just DI down. And, yeah, uh, shield. shield. Okay, it's a different back air. Okay, can go for fourth throw. Yep, and still not able to close out this uh, this first stock. And honestly, oh, okay, wow, there it is, yeah, finally. I was going to say, uh, if he got hit by a forward smash, pretty much anywhere on the stage, Tipper, yeah. that would have been yeah, it. He's gone. <laughs> It's so scary to fight against this character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just such a powerhouse, man. And it's that range, too, because you want to get in their space because that's the only way where you feel like you can fight. Yeah. But <laughs> you'd be dancing around that range too long, and all of a sudden, tipped and you're out. That was a beautiful slide back grab. Ampelio, I, I love Ampelio. He's always so... Um so smart and really airtight with his combos. He knows what he knows what works and what doesn't work, and generally doesn't go for anything too crazy. That's work. it. <sighs> that is it. Yes. And he hit him with a goofball di. I hate when that happens, man. Yes. I hate to see that type of thing happen because normally, you know, you you would be able to spread that with, with the yeah. correct di, but he just didn't know which way he yeah. was going, oh, which way he yeah. was getting hit. Exactly, man. Got hit with that cross up up air, and that was a good play right there. Understood that he set up a 50-50 situation once he had landed that nair, and he's like. I know, man. You're not, you're, you're yeah, not going to air dodge I'm pretty confident on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got this one. Just watch. Uh, it, it's crazy. Sometimes you have to pick, like, the worst option because air dodge in that situation doesn't sound like a good option. Exactly. You're, you're going to get bouncing fish like, yeah. most of the time, you know? Right. But uh, I, I guess Lord realizing he's a good player. He's not going to go for the bad exactly. option. He's, he's I'm going go to read, really read the good option. Exactly. And that's how you lose. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for playing yep. smart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Love the starter. You can get a near fast fall on the fourth throw, bouncing fish, get a decent amount of damage. You're not gonna be able to get too crazy stuff out of tilt, simply because it's gonna be you're gonna be dealing with a kind of more floaty character. You're not dealing with a fast fall or like a fox or a, another sheep. You mean knowing the void is gonna come down with that aggressive option. Yeah. I think uh, <laughs> in a lot of situations, if you hit Sheik in that that distance, you kind of know she's gonna come down with the forward air. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just a safe option on shield, so why not? Air out of shield. Uh, just way faster than um, Leo's attempted forward air. Yeah. Okay, good catch. Gets the bear, dash attack, and he's going for pressure here. Oh, gets hit by the jab. Oh, don't die. Yeah, that one's scary because he can really choose. You know, the upwards ender and the forward ender can both KO, so yeah. you kind of have to guess. Oh, the bear centers. <laughs> uh, the bear is insane. Pull down. Yes, I like it. Uh, reads the Why not? And you Why know what? Not? That time, 
Leo says, all right, fine. You got me yeah, last got game. Me. I'm going to go for the air dodge this time. He's like, no, he's like, come on, stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come on, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Big good needles from the board. Yeah, Android all really damage. Oh, good cash double. So so much damage, man. <laughs> yeah, and just the hit light on that, man. It's, it hurts. It's like, you know, you know when you're a fastballer, it's like, I'm going to get hit with another one. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about this. I just got to hold this. Make sure I'm dying correctly, because then that could be a life. Okay? Close again. That man, if you... <laughs> I don't know if the, uh, the Mark players out there know about the dancing blades that uh, MK Leo's using. He's using the downwards, uh, the third hit downwards, yes. which does the right. most damage. Yeah, it does he's the most 100% damage. optimized. <laughs> and it's so great, too, because he pulls back initially. Uh -huh. So when you go for the fourth hit, also, it's more likely to tipper depending on where you're going. And so that's why it's such a dominating combination. Yeah. Let's be careful. Uh, of course, like fast followers at low percents, they will just kind of hit the ground. Yeah. Those, but uh, I'm sure he, he knows more yeah. than that. Uh, what those percentages at? And he knows what those bear percentages at are yeah. also <laughs> as he takes game number two. Yeah, and that's two stocks in that game. That were ended up due to the use of bear, man. That for bear is so good. I, I don't know what it is. I feel like that that move just tippers so easily. Like it's like that's the thing you want in your restaurant. Like I don't understand. Like it, it, it <laughs> always comes correct every time. They will tip. I I think really it's just MK Leo. Did. Yeah. Knows his facing like the back of his hand. This oh, man's man. been playing Marth since birth. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, honestly, he's 15. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not a lie. <laughs> okay, good start up. Coming up for CLG boy. Okay, and a little standoff. I love the I love like the early like I want to say like the first thirty seconds of yeah. the match between two top players. It's just uh, so much calculated play because they know like this is low percent. I can't uh, do anything too crazy for, for most characters. Right. So it's just a lot of neutral, a lot of footsies, and uh, the person with the stronger neutral and like the, the smarter plays usually wins. Yeah, because once they get there, then they can kind of run it back, and then people just get in worse and worse situations because of the knockback growth that happens in this game. All right, it's a good trade. Down throw, is he looking for up air? No, nothing in time. Ooh, I thought he was going to go for a forest match right there. Yeah. He looked like he was at a perfect distance, but I'm sure he knows more than I do. And, yep, so the, the optimized there. The movement might be your life, though. Man, that is. <sighs> you know that why all so that good. happened? Uh, the Void saw MKLeo land with the dare, yeah. and any normal human would try and punish that. Yeah. <laughs> and he just didn't get there fast nope. enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was pretty scary. I thought he was going to get caught by the banish, at yeah. least the second hit of it. But yeah, I'm very surprised too, because again, even though Mark does have intangibility on that move, it's also partial. So afterwards, it's just a disjoint in front of him. Yeah, you can actually yeah. hit him in the back. So again, I'm very surprised too that he did not get hit by that banish. Beautiful up ease of all time. Very risky avoid going for the edge. Uh, you know, re-grab. That could have been punished pretty easily by Memke. Uh, by Leo. You see him looking for that bear out of shield. <laughs> He's at 161%. If that got shielded, that would have been a stop. Yeah. <laughs> he has no fear at all. Yeah. Okay. Good ledge setup. Gonna give him another opportunity. Okay, double jab dash attack. Not gonna be enough, but give him a setup here. Fair? Yes, it will. Wow, oh, fair KO. Yeah. <laughs> When you're grasping for straws. Right, yeah. when, when fair and four tilts start KOing, yeah. it's like, man, I really lost the stock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good escape from Void. Still having a chase here. Void being, being, uh, being very, very aggressive. Yeah. He knows he has a lot of uh, rounds to cover. And that little setup right there I love avoiding, because a lot of times you'll see a lot of Sheiks will go for a bouncing fish, and then they kind of weave back in and get for a bear. And I love that Void went kind of in that spacing, so it would force MK Leo to actually swing, and he's like, okay, that's free needle damage. Yeah. You know, just get the little bit, man. Just all the little things matter. And I love that. Retreating there on the edge will catch so many get-up options, and even if it doesn't catch one, you can kind of just uh, uh, get the grab for, like, a roll-in or something. Oh, good there. Oh, yeah, that will do wow. it. So fast, and like, you don't even realize you died. Like, yeah. wow, I got hit. Oh, I got hit oh right wait, now. yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, dead. <laughs> yeah, that move is strong. And they're reading the jump from the edge. 
Such a smart play. I always I think most people would agree his reads are just like on another level. Yeah. And that's such a good option coverage too, because again, that's going to be really good against uh, dealing with regular getup. That's going to be really good dealing with uh, just jump. And those are two of the best options really off the ledge. So. Yeah. And the fact that it also happens to be a kill, when most characters usually you, you can cover those options within there, mm -hmm. you're not going to get a kill there, just makes Mars so potent at that ledge. All right, so we're going to roll right back to Final Destination. That's, that last match was very, very close, so I don't, I don't really blame him at all. Not at all. I think it's a great stage uh, for Sheik against Mark too, because Mark definitely has trouble landing on the stage if uh, Roy can get him above him. Okay, good catch. Oh, it went for that time. I think he was looking for a bear. It didn't work out. No fear. I think at that percent, uh, Roy definitely could have DI downwards and kind of hit the stage for uh, yeah. Maybe that's what he was looking for initially, but MKLeo struck earlier. Yeah, and that downwards and their advancing blade has so much recovery. Uh, most characters can punish with like any smash attack they have. And, you know, every time I see grenade, I always question, is it a missing yeah. put? Or <laughs> <laughs> with Roy, you don't know. Even if it works, like, yeah. is it a missing put? <laughs> yeah. Up smash, yes. 50 50, that's clean. Scary and Galeo seems seemingly guessing wrong in those situations almost every single time. Yeah, Void is actually been really good in terms of his 50 Oh my gosh. That would have been a stop. Nice crack down. Oh, Ooh, he I had like the that roll in. That was so good. He had the read and just, I guess he did a dash grab by accident. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a punish here though. The left tilt up air. You saw Galeo kind of calling um, Void's bluff there, just going for the dancing blade, even though he knew he got the first two shielded. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah, that kind of big hurt box is working against Marth there. Going to be able to get those double F tilts and get some whatever Andrew he wants. Oh, of course, the classic Impelio for that perfect pivot micro spacing. Yeah, using those perfect pivots to just get the right distance uh, right outside of Sheik's range. He knows uh, exactly where he needs to be to not really worry about Sheik. Oh, my God. Oh, just barely. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, is, he is an entire stock behind, though. Yeah. Great, well, good catch. Oh, and he does not get the tipper. Boy's gonna live another day. He's looking for like a tilt. He's trying to be safe about his uh, KO option here. Oh, I, I like the idea there. I like the idea for Boyd. He's Boyd trying to go for a turnaround F tilt because he's gonna actually get a meaty F tilt, and so he'll get more frame advantage. He can go for a, a farther up there and probably get a kill up in percent. Mark. And that Nair will finally close out Void's first stock of this game number four. But uh, MKLeo kind of in a bad situation, 99%. And Mark's honestly not really known for, um, you know, right hip damage very fast at low yeah. percents, but he does, of course, have that tipper and have yeah. that rage. So he doesn't need to. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he gets a couple hits, gets a dancing blade. Void might be at kill percent. And yeah, again, he's been reading these so well. Not going to get a stock, though. Zero rage on Void, so uh, that up air is not going to do it just yet. I love that. Looking for yep. the, the, the air needles, you know, he wanted to cover that air dodge to the yeah. ground, maybe get a bouncing fish afterwards. Yeah, that is a very scary position for Void. Good fair from okay, Leo getting some walls. I think speaking of the scary situations, Void taking a little bit of damage. It's going to be a re Yeah, cannot get a kill option here. Bad air dodge from okay, Leo. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. my god. Uh oh. Uh -oh. My god. So 50% on Void. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, she'll break her left yeah. do it. Wow. Hilio retreating towards yeah. the edge. Good answer. This is scary, man. This is yeah, oh, nice. Void all to. the way down there. I was going to say, this is really scary. When you're on the edge, that percent, like yeah, picking your get an option, it, it, it's really, really hard because you know um, you know, Void is looking for the ones that will get you out of trouble. He's looking for those jumps from the edges. He's looking for the rolls. Uh, it's really, really scary to say, I'm at 160. I got to do a neutral get up or I got to just uh, you know, drop from the ledge and yeah. get, you know, pick another option. But uh, unfortunately, guess wrong in that situation. Void following him down to the depths, getting that back air. And now we're going to see a game in five. Yeah, getting that air dodge again, man. That's twice now that we've seen Void willing to actually follow him along once he actually had burned his double jump and then wait it out until he's in no other choice where he has to do something there. Not going to make it time and goes for that back air. Yeah, he has been phenomenal on those particular situations. I mean, I, it's I don't know if there's <laughs> percentage, but I feel like he's been like almost 80, 90% on these. Yeah, so far. are we sure they're 50 50? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Makes me think. <laughs> Uh, I love it though. We see uh, MK Leo kind of smiling down there and the handshake, man. These are two very strong, very smart, very young players. Yes, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're going to game five here. Is the, um, 
This MK Leo is kind of big. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he was not having any of that, dude. <laughs> this has got to be. Uh, this has got to be the character, <laughs> or comfortability or something, man. Yeah. Spacing out his neutral air to kind of cover, be aggressive, you know, run returns the stage, but also stay safe. Yeah, trying to get a whip punish, just couldn't get there in time, though. Alright, MK Leo. Playing on their kill percents. Pretty decent place. No, not gonna get there, dog. Good call. Yeah, boy, calling out that aggressive option. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, but again, that's, all, that's kind of what I was talking about last game. He's at 105, and that um, that jump from the ledge could have easily got punished. Yeah. It's hard, though. I mean, you have to pick a ledge off. Right, eventually, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> They're not quite out of this first stock and just yet. I wonder oh, if you think it was the duck. Yeah, that oh, yeah. That, right that was definitely the duck. Oh, man. The <laughs> classic <laughs> yeah. duck NTR. Oh, okay, but why not? Hey, give me that. Oh, oh, the dog I love said, that, actually, though. Yeah. He got, he got NCR'd by the duck, but he yeah. got the dog assist, so yeah. it doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> You know, all right. The balance. <laughs> <laughs> we're a USA chance in the back. That was so good. Uh, yeah. Not yet, though. Looking a little bit too early on that trump. Oh, nice. And that, see, and that, I mean, what if that counter is going to come back and haunt MK Leo? Because now yeah. Boyd's going to have that option of lead, you know, uh, you know, wall clicking and jumping from that. Exactly. Just and gives that's him an option that you know he's going to use, so now you have to respect it. And there it is. Like we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> that is the definition of calling some uh, yes. calling some bluff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Boyd has that poker face. Yeah. Talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, it's crazy because Mark doesn't have that extra option that she gets on the stage. Yeah. So it's, it made me wonder why he uh, kind of picked the stage. But I guess he just loves the big open space. Okay. Wow, and he is still alive at 170. Okay. And, yep, and Boy, gonna, uh, he's going to take that. Every single hit that Boy gets at this point is going to be good for him because, yeah. honestly, he should have lost his stock already. Okay, here it is. All right, this is it. Game number five, final stock for both players. Uh, zero to 34%. Okay, what's what's answers? Bouncing fish. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, that is no. it! Wow, that was so did good. He, did he get hit by the, the Brawl Ike when you get yeah. pushed off the stage and yeah. accidentally neutral air? Yeah, because he had, he double jabbed him <laughs> because he was looking for an option for an air. He had been done it done it multiple times. But uh -huh. this time, that's so smart for him to know, okay, I know you're going to go double jump Nair. I'm just going to jab you, which is going to force you to continue the buffer from there, and you are dead. That is the that worst way to lose a game five last time. But that was... That was that was brilliant. No, don't get me wrong. <laughs> that it was, was damn brilliant. It was, it was great for Void. You know, very smart play by Void. Uh, just a really unfortunate situation because yeah. you know there was a lot of fight left in both players. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh man, but Void, yeah, Void yeah. will take that over MK Leo, and get his.